All right, good morning, everybody. So I wanna show you how to make like a drippy texture. So this is good for a variety of things. It could be for, you know, drippy frosting on your cake. It could be for slimy hair on your monster mug. Just anytime you want something that looks drippy, you're gonna start with a super baby coil that you're gonna kind of like wobble in different areas. Now, some parts you might wanna make it a little bit more pointy and some parts you can kind of leave it a little bit more drippy, like wider drip, okay? But so the first thing that's gonna happen when you do this is once you make the coil, you're gonna either use your finger or the back end of this tool, like especially if you have long nails or you made this like super small. If you were adding this straight onto your project, you would uh, slip and score this part. But since I'm just adding it onto the table for practice, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, but so you're gonna blend all the way down the back, all the way along, okay? And you can use your finger or, you know, continue with the tool, smoothing, make it nice and smooth. What this does is it creates a shadow on this side over here. And by creating that shadow, you're making it look like this part, once you glaze it, is gonna be layered over the top of this part, right? So I can flatten it out just a little bit. I'm just kind of leaning from the side though. I'm not going straight down. I'm leaning from the side just to make it a little teeny bit flatter, but not lose the roundness of it. You gotta use fresh clay for this too. So now I can make my drips. Um, it's just a little teardrop, flatten it out just a little bit. Again, you would need to slip and score. And the drippy, drippy parts go wherever there's a down. So like I'm gonna add one here, but I'm gonna add one right here as well. So I would slip and score and then I'm gonna blend just like I did the other little bit, right? I'm gonna blend this. Oh, if you make sure your tool's clean, then you don't have to worry about, um, even clay boogies on stuff, okay? So see how I've started to add on that drip? Now I could keep going over here and, and add more drips. So if I have a slightly wider spot that I wanna add a drip onto, now this one could go either way. This one's definitely wider. But if I have a slightly wider spot, I'm gonna start with a circle and kind of dent to make it like, I don't know, like a Pac-Man ghost looking kind of a thing. Flatten it out a little bit, Wee. And then I'm gonna still have the edges kind of round. So, okay, now it looks like a cat. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little cat, I would slip and score it on there. And then I'm gonna make it match what is above it. And then I would blend that in. So I can either use my finger or I can use the tool. Sometimes I use a little bit of one and then a little bit of the other just kind of depends on how squishy the clay is or how big the area is. Cause this one's pretty small. So it'd be hard for me to do with just my finger. So I would use a tool, right? Clean up any clay boogies, keep your tool clean. But that is another way to add in a drip and you can, you know, adjust it as needed. Okay, but this along the edge of something, it could look like slime on a monster mug. It could look like, a drippy glaze on a cake or something like that. All right. Okay. Thanks everybody. Be creative. Have fun and give it a try.